extend this with air, at the same time removing the oil, mm -hmm. and to see how much uh, flex we can get in the rod at the end. Mm -hmm. So we extend it, we can see any damage. If it doesn't usually extend with the air, mm -hmm. there might be something handy. It looks like it's painted over, so it might have been a tag from eons ago. Mm -hmm. There's paint actually on the top of it. Any more inches to go? The, uh, the color of the oil. Ship clean. Once the rod is fully extended, we can then look for the flex. It can be very hard to see. I saw it. You saw the one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it went up. Yeah. Well, we have, uh, looks like an original or an older gland. But this one has a weld on it. We've never welded one, so this is not one that's ever been changed. The rod seal's still tight. See how like it doesn't rotate easy? Couple factors. We saw dirt packed in there. And you saw uh, wear on the uh, rod seal. Came first, chicken or the egg? Definitely, Did this fail before the chicken. rod seal? <laughs> Either way, uh, this is too loosey goosey. And this is actually under rods, according to all our other drawings. Yeah. If you check back, I'm sure it says it's 7, it's 7, 4, 8. I have to. This part, yeah. this OD yeah. is too small for this ID because it fits very sloppy. Oh, so someone did some work on that. Yeah. So measure the outside, make sure that it's copacetic with the tube. Just looking at this, is irritating enough. Yeah. Ideally brand new, it's one. And then if you look in the if you look in the tube, there's almost no reason for that. <laughs> what makes them suspicious at first was the condition of the surface here. Mm -hmm. It's pitted in a couple of spots. Why they cut so many depends There's on the lane it was in. Okay. I can't see why they, even right here they've got one hand. Yeah. They must have burned this off. Uh, this is the inside micrometer. Mm -hmm. This is the outside micrometer. The, this one's always out on me, eh? And as a rule, you always double check with yeah. an outside anyway. 7.7. .7. Four, seven. I got two thou difference. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, rod the bushing. bushing. Yeah. Rod bushing. And I've got seven point seven three one. Seven. Yeah. So that's quite a bit of play. That's a way too much play. It, it half feels like this. And it changes. Yeah, that's what that's what I was wondering as well. And it's like there's a low spot Someone right like here as well. well. This is probably the right size. This is definitely undersized. Yeah. Yeah. Look how sloppy this thing is. Okay, I've got uh, 2 thou over 12 inch. 12.002. Same, Four? I got uh, 12.0045. That was a tight fit I just did there. So it's probably varying a little bit, the first bit here, yeah. which makes sense because it looks like a different pattern they've been buffing here. Well, it's as clean as one I've ever seen, like as far as internal damage, it's like super clean. Yeah, it looks good. It's known as the gland. The outside, I punch the hole through the center. You uh, start to bore it out now. An exciting <laughs> step, I know. Is there anything wrong with this? So we kept it. 
just washing it up. That was a good sign. That was a good okay. pop. When you look here, real bad. You don't see no evidence of a seal or anything. That's what you want. This thing goes on these holes. There's a bolt that goes through. We're going to lock it in on the hole. Can't really grip it with the machine or anything like that. And that they're set in a, they're locked in the front, anyways. You know, Here you know, go. we'll turn this. This will line up with a hole that's in the tube. Our pin will go into that and then it'll get sealed in with an O-ring box uh, cap or plug. And then this one will go in and cap it and actually hold it. So there's no way that that can back thread and come off. She's locked in. And that's it. I put this on over top just to help it uh, shrink uh, back and stretch it. And then, uh, we'll let this sit for a little bit before we go to insert it. Stops the uh, gland from coming out. Once we lock in the front plate, yeah. Yeah, so this plate will lock everything in. That cut will be accepted in between the rings. Lock this to this, with this holding everything in place so nothing comes out and nothing goes in. to form. And that's it. Now we know at least it, it holds there. Now the next test it will be is how much um, oil pressure the building holds. So that's how we uh, test it before we put it on the stand and make sure that it doesn't leak air. If it doesn't leak air then it's, at least it's worthy to get it onto the bench. That's about it. And now we just release the air pressure. This is uh, uh, for the customer here. We do five uh, strokes, starting at 500 psi, and then work our way up uh, 500 to 15 to 2,000 to, to uh, all the way up to 3,000 psi for the, for this uh, particular cylinder. And uh, this shows the number of strokes that we've done and at which pressure. This is the the flow. To how fast uh, the fluid is filling it up here, and 
uh, this is our uh, pressure gauge. So I look on here, and uh, right now you see it's hit the end there. I'm gonna turn this up to 2,000 degrees, uh, 2,000 psi. And I just hold it there for a few seconds, so it records. The one at the back is draining, going back to tank, and the one in the front is pumping. When we changed the uh, rod bushing, we made a uh, new gland for it, and uh, we uh, lightly honed uh, the inside of the tube.